Hey guys, it's Kambi, and today we are doing another Rec Room Studio tutorial. This time it's going to be about water shaders, which was just added in the latest update just a couple days ago. I'm really excited to show you. It's pretty amazing and highly recommend using it. It's pretty easy to use as well. So yeah, let's just jump into the studio and I'll show you how it works. All right, so if you have not yet downloaded the latest version of Rec Room Studio, go ahead and do that. And if you don't see these items that I'm about to point out, you might have to go to the Rec Room Studio Discord to download them separately. But if you go to your assets and you go to your default assets, under prefabs and environmental assets, there's a new category, which is water examples. I'll show you what they look like. The first one is an ocean and I could zoom in a little bit and you could see the, the water flow of that ocean with the wave. We also have a potion cauldron, which is just kind of a, it's almost like a purple wave, I would call it. We also have a river, which I really enjoy and I'll, I can't wait to use this in maybe some of my maps, especially with the rocks, the effect that it has. It really does look like flowing water we also have shoreline, so this would be good for more of an island or a beach where you want to have the waves crashing into the sand. We also have, let's zoom out, we have a few more. There's this vert vertex um, color example, and we'll get into this in a bit of how to edit the waves and the water the way you want it to look. But this is just an example. As you can see, it's split into four quadrants, each with a different type of wave pattern. So yeah, that's just an example. There's also many types of waterfalls. We have sort of like a standard waterfall that you would see in disc golf. We have one that's a cloudy waterfall. We have, there's a lot of waterfalls. We have an ice waterfall. We have a lava waterfall. This one is actually one of my favorites. You can see the flow of lava. And next up would be slime. I'm not sure why you'd want a slime waterfall, but if you do, there it is. Um, there's also a swamp waterfall, which is swampy, dirty water. And those are all the examples that Rec Rooms provided, and for each of those examples, they also have different materials that link up to the examples, and I think for a beginner, it'd probably be easy to take one of these planes that are already created in the example, and you could scale it up and turn it into what you'd like, or you could go ahead and you could go create a plane or some sort of other ground material that you have and you could actually just drag over the water material so there you go we have a plane with the the water material this is for the lake now if you want to adjust how the flow of water looks there's a few things you could do here we have a death color we could change you could have a purple a purple water green water really any color you want. Uh, for now, we'll just keep it as a rich blue. Um, there's the base map, and I think right now we actually, because we're not dealing with a cube, there's no depth, so it's just gonna default to this color. You can also, if you do have a cube, which would, maybe we'll take this one as an example, we can adjust the water and we could change the top portion of the water and have the death a different color. And then you could also change the color of the depth of the water. So like how deep do you want it to look? So maybe you want a lighter color for the top and a darker color for the bottom. I think that has a really nice effect. Um, so just keep in mind that you can make these adjustments, but if you do, make sure to save them as a new prefab or a prefab variant so it doesn't change these default assets, which is exactly what I'm doing at the moment. 
All right, next up, they have some other items that we could play around with. So we'll just use this as the, as the example because there's some uh, grass and ground um, for the water to collide with. Uh, we, we could adjust the, the, some of the normal maps. So the normal maps is like the way the water's flowing. And right now there's two normal maps. So we could maybe adjust one of them with a higher speed and we could adjust the flow of the water. Obviously that gives it more of a river type effect. And you could do the same thing with the other normal and we'll increase the speed and you could just play around with it and see, see what kind of cool effects you could get depending on what kind of water you're looking to obtain. We also have the foam map, and this one I think is super fun because if you notice like this white border around the water, this is used to represent the ocean foam and you could adjust it so you can change the depth of the, of the foam, you could change the minimum depth, so if you don't want any, obviously, <laughs> or it would be deeper, you could increase that amount. You have the clip clipping of the foam if you want a lot of foam, just a little bit. Um, how glossy the foam is, I think, yeah, up here too, you should be able to adjust the smoothness of the water. So this would be like rough water and this would be super smooth, shiny water. So yeah, play around with all these settings and if you forget what they do, just hover over them and It'll actually tell you exactly what each of these inputs is for. Uh, you could also change the emission map. So what if you want like a glowing, some sort of glowing water, maybe a radioactive water. As you can see, you could change the emission map and have it glow. And that makes for a really cool effect, especially when we're dealing with the lava material. Uh, next up, we have waves. So there's three types of waves. And again, this is something you'll have to play around with to get the, the look you're going for, but let's increase the steepness. Obviously now we have really rocky water. We got wave two, even rockier. And <laughs> three is probably you'll never want to go in that water because you'll get injured, but Again, play around with the steepness. You could play around with the speed of the waves. You could play around with the angle of the waves. So here, <laughs> it kind of got a little crazy, but these are the different effects that you could play around with. Uh, and then lastly, if you do want to get the effect of the waves crashing into the terrain, all you have to do is have some sort of terrain or object. For now, I'll just spawn in a cube and let me scale it up. So say I have this water shoreline. Obviously it's not pretty, but it'll do for now. But you can see the foam adjust for the collision between the water and the object. And yeah, so if you throw a bunch of rocks in here, you'll, you'll get some really nice effects. And again, you could change this to any material that you want that is already preset. Just make sure that you're using a Rec Room Studio water shader. That's the most important part. And yeah, we'll go test this upper mount and see what it looks like in game. All right, so just keep in mind the more water you have, the slower the room will be for different platforms. But here's our water plane and just get the example. We also have our sort of emissive, really wavy water, as well as the cauldron, which looks awesome in game with the visual effects. We have the river. We have the waves crashing into the shore. We have the waterfalls, which are absolutely awesome. This one is frozen, so it 
does not look like it's moving much. And then we have the really cool lava, as well as some of the other water. I think this is the slime water, and this is the swampy water. And you'll see when it hits the ground over here, they have the effect of sort of the water splashing. All right, and one last thing I want to talk about is do using the vertex color. So if you, I'm gonna unpack this prefab for the shoreline and we're gonna open up the tools pro builder, pro builder window. You could pro builderize this um, object unless it's already done for you, which it is. You could select different faces or you could select different vertices. For now, I'll just do faces because it's easier to illustrate. If you go over and adjust the vertex colors and change it to yellow, you'll have foam and waves. If you change it the color to red, you'll have foam and no waves. If you change it to green, then you'll have no foam, but you will have waves. And if you have black, then there's just nothing that's gonna be happening to the water. So I'll just show you right here. You'll see that the water kind of cuts off sharply. Again, I personally wouldn't use this as much unless you want to have a specific effect in a certain part of the water, but that's just a bit of information on how to adjust it. But for the most part, I think the most important part is just understanding the surface inputs, the, the normal maps, and the foam and waves. Hope you guys learned a little bit more about Rec Room Studio today and about water shaders. If you have not yet subscribed and you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button and let me know what you create with the new water shader. See you later.